Hi, I am Ibukun. Have you been wondering why there is ban on religious gatherings despite the ease of the lockdown? Or are you one of those who are of the opinion that it is largely unfair for governments to open markets while religious activities or houses are under stringent restrictions? Well, that is what this video is all about. I'll be delving into some of the reasons behind the government's position. If this sounds interesting to you, hit the subscribe button and let's get going. Because apart from the obvious safety reasons or concern of the government because of the huge crowd that will be gathering in all these religious houses, there are other safety concerns, which is the fact that, you know, these religious activities that these guys do has to do with close contact. For instance, now we'll be having some people doing anointing services where pastors will be laying hands on a lot of people. Some of them will be doing deliverance services where people will be rolling on the floor and touching each other, which even though they are adhering to the physical or social distancing rules, they will still have to you know, stay close to each other as a result of all those religious activities. I know there is a touch of this factor in the Muslim community also or religious activities of the Muslim brothers and sisters. So those are the reasons why it is very very wise, health wise, to make sure that religious houses remain closed and there is no gathering because of all these activities. In fact in some churches one mic might be used by 20 or 30 people so which of course would spread this virus on a very industrial scale. So these are obvious reasons but apart from that if you have to make sure that people adhere to social distance and physical distancing rule you will need a lot of, uh, of, of security personnel mounting mega churches mounting local churches to make sure all these things are adhered to but already we have inadequate security personnel to mount the road to mount checkpoints already so diverting all those security men to religious houses every week is not visible to the nigerian government right now because they don't have that manpower they don't have that that um, luxury of personnel right now to ensure that these rules are adhered to at religious houses. Apart from all these safety concerns, another thing that we need to take cognizance of is the fact that it is not in the interest of the government to even open markets in the first place. Markets are not supposed to be open in the first place, but because the government is working with the reality on ground, we cannot copy the foreign or western countries or advanced countries with the sense that these guys have shut down their market places but they have been able to put logistics in place to, to distribute palliative and they can fund all these things they can fund logistics they can fund the distribution of food items and the food item itself it also requires funding those are things and people can stay inside the house because they have the ne basic necessity of life for them to stay indoor but here in our country the, the, the case is very very different because of all this reality we cannot fund logistics and we cannot fund food items and we cannot provide power 24-7 for people to stay at home. That is why it is necessary for markets to be open. So let's just get this very, very clearly that markets are not supposed to be open also, but because the government do not have any choice. So can you now see the reason why religious garden is basically restricted right now? Because religion is not essential. Religion is basically personal. So the government can still do with the restriction of the religious activities, but because people must eat and markets are the vendors of all these food items, that is why people are allowed to go to the market. As well as a very bonus point is the fact, is the fact that the religious houses and organizations, they have little or no economic significant contribution to the economy. That is what I mean to say. So they contribute little or no um, impact on economy. So the, the government can still do away with religious activities for now. So guys, that is all I have to say in this video. I am a political, religious and lifestyle influencer. I am passionate about making sure that politics and religion are geared towards the best interest of the people. 
as well as making sure that individuals live the best possible version of themselves. If that sounds cool to you, hit the subscribe button and let's get going.